Today I show you how to screenshot the whole page on iPhone. I will show you how to do this with the uh, iPhone 16 Pro Max, iOS 18.4, Firefox and Chrome, but this is going to be very similar on most iPhones. And the key thing here is you use an app that supports scrolling. So it supports the option to take a screenshot and scroll at the same time. So I'll show you now here. This is my website here and I have this. This is the website. And if I wanted to take a screenshot of the whole website, you can take a regular screenshot. You press, you press the power button. Usually to take a screenshot, you press the power button and the volume up button. To take a screenshot, you press the power button on the right and the volume up button on the left. On iPhone and iOS, you take a screenshot by pressing the power button on the right and the volume up button on the left. So I took the screenshot and it saves the screenshot. Now I can save it. I can take another I can take another screenshot if I wanted to, but I will show you to do this in a better way. Okay, so I take the screenshot power and volume up. Then I press on the screenshot as it shows up there. And then here you have options. So I could take a screenshot of the full page if you see here. So I can press on full page. And I even have some note taking options. I could change the color, for example, for some of these options. And I could make take a note. I could highlight some text if I wanted to. Could make some different notes in there. Could use this. You can really use lots of tools here and I could even remove them. This is these are the options to to do all these things. But the the long screenshot you probably already saw it. It's here on the right side, so you can see the whole page. And the, everything is saved there. The whole page, it's here. So you can you can take a screenshot of the screen and you can reduce the area you want to keep in your screenshot to crop it like this. This is how you crop it. You can reduce the area there. You can even add a bit more if, if you wanted to. But if you choose full page, you have the whole screen available. And you can crop it. You, you, can, you can actually crop here. So I would say reduce to up to here where is the comments box, for example, like that. You have to be careful with the sides to include the sides like that. And then I press done. Okay, so now I have now I have the article here and I want to save it. You can press done here. And then you can choose save to photos, save PDF to files and could try to save PDF to files. Now I open the files up and I can go into the downloads i could go into the downloads folder and then i have a pdf here but the size is pretty large so we have to be careful but this all this information is saved here and this is a pdf you can print this if you wanted to but i will choose to delete it before i forget so i don't have some space used there for nothing so the screenshot screenshot the full page or however you like and then when you press done you can save also to photos so i saved it as a photo now and now this file is saved as a photo and i can actually zoom in on the whole article and read it if there are some articles you want to read when you're on an uh, airplane and you want to quickly save them as pdf this is a really interesting option to do that this is a really interesting option to read articles if you want to read them on an airplane or where you don't have internet or you don't have Wi-Fi, other than saving the web, web page as it is, you could save it as a PDF or a picture. That's it. I hope this helps you take screenshots of the whole screen. And you can also do this in Firefox, by the way, it's the same thing. So full page, you will have the same option there. Save to photos. I did the same thing here in Firefox. Thanks for watching.